in this video we take a look at the Edwin McCain song I'll Be and it's an interesting song because there's a lot of different takes on how to do it but if you actually watch the video of him playing this one live it gives you a good hint as to what's going on and some unusual chord voices for this one it's actually in 3-4 time as well which might catch you out so if you're trying to strum it in 4-4 four, four time you'll, you'll come across problems it starts off if you watch the uh, the, the live version, he plays this E shape. Now I've put the chord boxes on the screen to make it easier to follow. And it's hard to tell how many times he actually does this because there's a bit of, quite a bit of a, uh, instrumental going on at the beginning on the live version. But this chord, which is an E shape, first finger on the third fret of the G, uh, is an F sharp 11 slash E chord. Now there's a lot of different names you could give that chord, um, but that's what I've decided to go with that uh, F sharp 11 slash E. And then F to E. And at the beginning he goes between that leg. When he gets back to the F sharp 11 slash E, he then goes into the first verse. Now, you're playing a B chord, but it's actually uh, a B added 11 because you're using the, the high, uh, the B string and the high E open like that. And you're going to be moving from that to an E5 like that, but you're using the bottom E. In the, the B and the E open. It's still an E5, but it's got a nice feel about it. And then you're going to go back to the B at 11. And then you're going to do an F sharp slash F sharp A, like that, which is quite an unusual chord. Um, the way to handle that one, if you're finding that one difficult, is almost do like a power chord shape like that. Put your little finger like that. And then this finger on the bass note on the A sharp and you the A string. And then you're going to go down two frets and that chord will be in E slash G sharp. So to play that through you're going to be going 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. serves as your verse. Now I've put a sheet, a link being in the description to the blog where it puts it in order for the song but that's what's going to serve as your verse and it's also going to serve as your chorus as well. Now the pre-chorus using them same chords but you're going to be playing like this from the B at 11. So your pre-chorus goes like this. <laughs> Quite a handful to do, but you're going from a B at 11, Ta F sharp slash A, E slash G sharp, da, 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 da. then you're going to go through it again, and then just a normal F sharp, like that. and that's essentially played through twice, which is at your pre chorus. So, Then your chorus, and just check my notes there, uh, is exactly the same as the verse. So, two, three, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two. Like that, which is 
fairly fairly straightforward and what we now have uh, to look at is an actual bridge section and that's going to be this into the chorus so what you've got is this unusual voicing of G minor 7 which is sorry G sharp minor 7 so you've got your finger on the G sharp you're muting the A string and you've got the fourth fret of the D and the G and that B and E open like that one two and three one two and three F sharp E. One, two, and three, one, two, and three, two, and three, one, two, and three. You're going to go through that again. One, two, and three, 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 one, two, and three. The E suspended two. The F sharp. So all in all, I hope that explains how to play this one. There's a lot of different explanations, simplified versions of this that put all other chords. But this is if you watch the video. There was another tutorial on YouTube, which is very good. But I found it uh, maybe a little bit difficult to follow if you weren't an advanced guitarist. So hopefully this is like a, a, a simple explanation or a simplified explanation of how to do it the way that Edwin McCain plays it. So as always, thank you for watching.